Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. Um, first, let me start this video off by offering you guys an apology. Um, a couple of months ago, I uploaded a video here on the ultimate Ruger charger. This is going to be my ultimate Ruger charger build. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Since then, numerous parts have hit the market for the Ruger 1022. This is the ultimate Ruger charger. <laughs> I just can't quit laughing. All right, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. Let's talk about this trigger. No, I did not turn into Jerry Michalik overnight. My trigger finger is not that fast. This is the new Franklin Armory binary trigger for the Ruger 1022. Let me back up a little bit. Um, some of you may not know what a Ruger Charger is. What a Ruger Charger is, it's basically a pistol version of a Ruger 1022 rifle. All right, we're gonna get into that more in here in just a minute. I've done several videos on the Ruger Charger, but this one is by far my favorite build of all time. Now this trigger, it's pretty neat. Um, so how it works is you can either have the firearm on safe, you can have it in single mode, so every time you pull the trigger, one projectile goes down range, or you can have it in binary mode. And what the binary mode will allow you to do is, when you pull the trigger, it'll fire, when you release the trigger, it will fire. So we're gonna get into that a little bit more in just a minute. But uh, that trigger is pretty amazing. Um, it's extremely fast, extremely fast. I've given a kind of a few teaser videos on Facebook and Instagram on it, but um, it's the sweetest thing since sliced bread that's come out with the um, on the 1022 platform in quite some time. Uh, this is the Vakortsen VF6 um, carbon fiber barrel for the Ruger Charger. It's a six inch barrel. Uh, it makes this setup extremely light. I'm gonna be firing some mini mags. Uh, out of this setup and then we'll do uh, talk about it just a little bit more so all right my ears are not in great all right that's better all right let's go to single mode here all right let's go to binary yeah <laughs> it empties those BX25 magazines out pretty quick. Now, one tip of advice that I will tell you if you do get this set up, uh, I think the regular Ruger tr uh, chargers come with like a nine or a 10 inch barrel. You can use standard velocity ammunition out of the standard Ruger 1022 charger barrels, and it will work fine with the binary trigger in this setup. However, if you go with the six inch barrel, since the bolt weighs so much, um, in the Ruger 1022 platform, I recommend you shoot high velocity ammo. Uh, standard velocity ammo, I, I found that it gives it a you know, little bit of a problem. But if you're using this barrel and only using this barrel, high velocity ammunition. All right, let's go, let's dump another mag here. Let's do some double taps on these silhouettes. Oop, had a malfunction. All right. Let's go again. All right, now I'm out. All right, got another mag loaded up here. Let me just show you how fast this trigger is once more. <laughs> All right, let's go right here on the musical target. <laughs> that is smoking fast. All right, so what else have I done to this build to make it the ultimate charger? I'm running the CTS 1400 Crimson Trace Red Dot on here. You've seen this in a lot on a lot of my pistols. Um, really dig that Red Dot sight, man. You can dim it down so the, the Red Dot is very small. It almost looks like an uh, one MOA, but I think this is actually a 2.5 MOA. But you can dim it down. It's just a tiny, tiny little Red Dot. And that's great for like pinpoint accuracy. Now on the back here, I do have an SB Tactical folding brace, okay? Since this is classified as a pistol, this is a brace. This is not a stock, um, but it folds in there, locks in uh, really, really nice. And if you wanna use it for a backpack gun with this six inch barrel, you can do it. Now I will say on this chassis, now this chassis right here is a standard Ruger uh, Charger tra uh, chassis that comes with the pick adapter right here on the back. 
I did have to cut off about two inches of this chassis to allow this barrel to fit on there because uh, the chassis was just about two inches too long and it was overhanging the barrel and I didn't want that. So I just cut it down and sanded it down. I think it looked pretty nice after I got through. You really can't tell unless I pointed it out. But I did keep my sling uh, swivel stud right here so I can still mount a sling on it if I want to. Let's see if I got another magazine in here. And let me show you one cool thing about this binary trigger. So say for instance, you're out shooting and you fire one round down range and you don't want to fire the second round. You know, something popped up down range for a safety concern. So can you take it out of binary mode halfway through? Let's just check it out. All right, it's in binary mode. So if you shoot and you're like, oh man, I don't want to let that other round go because if you let that round go, this trigger go right now, it's going to fire. So pretend you shoot, you don't want to fire that other shot. You can simply on either side, the trigger is ambi. You can flip it down to single mode. And when you release the trigger, no pew, it does not go off. So that is a safety mechanism built into this trigger. So if you're shooting binary mode and you don't want to throw that second round down range, you can do it. All right. I put my suppressor back on here. Let's just end the video with a few mag dunks. But before we do some mag dunks, let's just do some precision shooting, well, semi-precision shooting in the uh, single stage of the binary trigger. Let's go out to 100. Nailed it. See if I can hit that little plate beside it. I don't know how well this red dot is sighted in for me to do that. Oh, nailed it. 100 yards. All right, let's do a mag dump. What's left of here in this BX25 magazine in binary. Nice. All right, I think I have one more magazine, 25 rounds, and we'll call it a day. All right, let me see if I can just do a mag dump on my musical targets. I don't know how many I'm going to hit, but we can try it out. <laughs> that sounded pretty awesome. All right, let's try it again. All right, come on around, get in there. That's a magazine issue. That is not a firearm issue. That round got didn't get canted in there correctly. There we go. Let's try it again. <laughs> that sounded pretty awesome. So yes, this is now my favorite Ruger Charger build. Uh, everything from the Vakortsen barrel, Vakortsen bolt, and also this SB Tactical Brace. Uh, and let's not forget the binary trigger. I've got this trigger on a couple of my 1022s, been playing around with them for the past couple of weeks. And anytime I put this thing in binary mode, I am leaving with a big stupid grin on my face. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this setup, put them in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking. Mm -hmm.